Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through search query reporting or SQRs. And these are one of the foundations of PPC that I learned way back in the day that are still very relevant today. And it will allow you to identify waste opportunities and expansion opportunities. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure to stick around. Now here is how you pull the data for an SQR. You need to be in your Google Ads account. You go to the keywords section and then you go to search terms here in the left-hand corner menu. You will click this option and then your account will actually have data in it. I have an account poll that I can reflect here in a few minutes. You can see that I have some search term data for one of my YouTube campaigns that ran a while back. And if I throw in all time, I can get some search term data. So I don't have a lot of spend here because this is mainly for um, a, a YouTube campaign that I was running. But if you go to this section, go to search terms, you will then get the search term report. Now you're gonna see a lot of things on the screen right here. It's going to show you the exact term that fired, um, where it went, so what campaign, what ad group, the metrics with it, and then um, you're able to download that data or segment the data, columns. I'm gonna have videos somewhere down the line kind of explaining the different ways to navigate the interface and how to view a lot of this data because there's a lot you can do with it to change the data around to make it work for you. But let's just take this at, at default right now. Um, so if you go ahead and click download and then click Excel, um, you can choose whatever file format you would like. I typically do Excel or Google Sheets. Um, so if you click Excel, it will go ahead and download it. And you're going to see that I have a SQR already downloaded, um, a sample SQR that has a ton of data in it. So, so this SQR that I ran is over the past, since August 6th. So I think it's about 30, no, it's about two months of data that I ran here. And when you export an SQR, you get a ton of data here. So this might be a little bit of an Excel um, tutorial as well, but you can see for this time frame, I've got over 22,000 search terms that fired when my ad served. And there's two major things you can do with these SQRs. One, you can find waste opportunities, things where you don't want your ad to serve that you can add a negative keyword for. So that's option one. But then option two, which is somewhat overlooked, is expansion opportunities. So SQRs can be a great gold mine for saying, hey, this keyword we're dominating right now, let's build out additional keyword opportunities to then have additional coverage and then push harder based on what you're learning. So this is what an SQR will look like when you download it at first. And um, I'm gonna have another YouTube video down the line on how to navigate Excel, but I'm gonna expand on my columns here. And what I typically like to do right away when running an SQR is I like to sort by um, cost. So think the 80-20 principle. Um, you you wanna find like the keywords that are generating the most amount of spend so you can make the largest impact in your account. So I, you're not gonna be able to see what these keywords are because I killed them here. Um, but you can clearly see like here are some of my top spenders. And typically when looking at SQR, you want to one, sort by cost, like I mentioned. And then two, look at this click-through rate column. So I'm just gonna identify this click-through rate column here really quick with a quick highlight because this is gonna be one of the columns that we look at. And then I wanna look at cost. And then the other metric I wanna look at for this specific SQR is something called conversion value over cost or ROAS, return on ad spend. So this is the other area. So for purposes of this, let's just kind of hide some of this other junk here, just so we can make sure we're looking at these columns. So you should have a pretty good indication on how some of these keywords are trending. Um, over the past two months, I've got a bunch of terms that have zero ROAS zero conversion value. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad term and you should kill it in your account right away. This could, depending on your attribution modeling, what type of intent that keyword has, it may not be the best thing to kill. But if you pair this ROAS or conversion value, some type of conversion metric to your keyword, and you find that keyword is just hot garbage, you're going to want to negative it and get it out of your account. So that, that, that that's like a big piece of it. But I want to show you the power of doing things in bulk here from an 80-20 standpoint. So Go with me here for a second. Over the past two months, I've got 21,000 keywords, a lot of them that haven't served, that have generated zero ROAS for me, zero conversion value over cost. That amount of spend in my account is almost $3,000, $3,400. And if I were to go ahead and just kill those that $3,400 worth of um, 
ad spend, I would just right away save that money. Now, again, that may not be the best call for this account because, again, there's so many different things that go into place here. But if I'm going to try to go into savings mode and cut, 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 this might be one of the first areas that I look at where I would just want to exclude a ton of keywords here, get rid of them. I can just literally go in here, copy all of these keywords, go back to my Google Ads account, go to the negative keywords section, and then add those negative keywords. Obviously, if I pasted them, <laughs> it wouldn't just say keyword, keyword, keyword. It would be pasting my entire list. But I can go to the negative keywords column within my campaign, right, right above search terms, paste them in here, and exclude all those keywords, save that money right away. Again, definitely not the best call and probably not something you're going to want to do, but just go with me here. That's like the power of, of running SQRs if you have just a bunch of like trashy keywords. So keep that in mind when excluding um, some of that traffic. Another thing to point out too that you need to keep in mind, I did hide that clicks column before, but a lot of that traffic here, that's about 5,500 clicks. So depending on your niche and CPCs, all the jazz, that may be a lot, maybe a little, uh, but just keep that in mind because if I were to kill this traffic, that's 5,500 sessions over two months that are no longer going to the website. So that, that, that's step one. How do you find those exclusion opportunities, potential waste, and to kind of like trim the fat of your account? That is going to be one really key way to say, hey, how do I get rid of bad things that are not working today and how do I expand upon them? But where the real money comes, guys, is expansion opportunities. And that's the one area that, that is just so strong that I really advise people to spend a lot of time in how do I find the things that are not working, grow them, and then how do I find the things that are working and 10x them? Because that, that's where the power comes in. So taking the same exercise here with the things that aren't converting today, if we also sort by click-through rate, and then if we sort by cost, we can find like some of these ones that are like heavy hitters here that have high click-through rate, but no conversion. So what this tells me for the most part is that users are seeing my ad. They think it's extremely relevant for this search term. Let's pretend the search term is Pokemon cards. They're seeing my search term for Pokemon cards. They see that it's a 23% click-through rate so that means they are clicking my ad like crazy, but they are not converting. So one room of opportunity here is to look for ways to incorporate Pokemon cards onto my website to make that convert. Now, if it's not a good search term for you, don't just start selling Pokemon cards to sell them, even though they're really awesome. They are. Um, don't go about that. Uh, but there are options to find expansion opportunities for different search terms that you may not have coverage for. So that, that that's piece one of expansion. Find the things that aren't working and find ways to make them work. But... On the flip side, the really exciting thing that you can do is we're going to take our filter off here for conversion value over cost equals zero. And now we're going to look at this column here. And this, my friends, is the money column, the green column. So we're going to look at this here quick, and we're going to sort from highest to lowest. You can see out of all of my revenue here, we've got like 20K of revenue over the past two months for these search terms. Like almost half of it comes from like 20 of them, right? And if you expand that even a little bit further, like 15K out of the 20K comes from 35 keywords. So if we can start to hone in on some of these where maybe we just had a couple perform really well for us, like we have some really high average order values for some of this. That, that's what AOV stands for is average order value. There might be some instances where average order value is just really high. There could be opportunities to, to improve that. So... There, there's two pieces again. How do you kill the waste? How do you trim the fast? But how do you blow things up as much as possible based on the data that's presented to you? Um, now, there are a lot more tools that you can do with search query reporting, but if you are new to PPC and new to Google Ads, this is one skill that you need to get very familiar with from a foundational level, and there are so many ways to grow this over time. Things like n-grams, um, conversion rate and click-through rate analysis. You can look at day parting. Like, look, there's so many different pieces that I'll have videos on down the line. But this is one very foundational skill that you have to ensure that you have um, up to speed. Otherwise, you're going to be sending either poor traffic or you're going to be missing out on really good traffic. So that that's about it that I have for today's video. If you have any questions regarding SQRs, what they're used for, ways to do things better that I may not be accounting for, um, please drop a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing this video because that'll help the algorithm share this video with people that are just like you. So I would appreciate that very much. But until next time, I appreciate you guys and talk to you later. See ya. Bye.